The Complete Pig Feeding Guide, From Wean to Finish When it comes to the feeding of pigs, there are so many myths and perceptions. There is a common perception that pigs eat everything. As much as I would love to say that is true, I will not be doing you any favors. Pigs will eat everything placed in front of them. They will fill their bellies and maybe, they will appear satisfied. However, you should know that what you put in the belly of the pig is what you will reap as a result. If you feed the pigs with junk food, chances are, the meat will not be tasty and your pigs will be prone to diseases. When they start to fall sick due to poor feeding practices, you will end up using the same money you are trying to save to treat them. Hi, my name is Eric, a young farmer from Ghana. If you are here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. The most important part of pig production is in knowing the correct way to feed pigs. You need to understand what to feed your pigs. Each stage of the pig's life needs a different formulated feed for faster and better growth. Pigs need a high energy diet that is low in fiber and more protein. Pigs will consume enormous amounts of food quickly. As a farmer, you will have to be smart in your management skills and maintain the feeding regime of the pigs in order to maximize your returns. What to feed pigs? If you are a small scale farmer, to maximize your profits, you can use your kitchen scraps to feed your pigs. Your leftover foods such as vegetables, grains or bread and fruits. The aim is to have a more balanced diet for the pigs to reduce fat and produce lean and healthy meat for consumption. You should avoid giving the pigs sweets and high sugar foods. Foods to avoid. Foods such as sweets and dog foods can seriously slow down the growth rates of the pigs. If you continue to feed them with junk food, you are more likely to introduce viruses and diseases to the farm. How to formulate good pig feed Just like humans, the quality of food you eat will help deter illnesses. Pigs are the same, if you feed them right, they grow faster, healthier, and almost disease-free. Formulating a good pig feed will help achieve optimum growth of your stock. Each stage of the pig requires different nutritional food content. Feed should meet the animal's needs for maintenance, growth, and reproduction and contain sufficient energy, protein, minerals, and vitamins. The most common source of energy food is corn because they are high in digestible carbohydrates and low in fiber. An example of an effective food mix for the pigs should consist of rice bran, broken rice, maize, cassava, vegetables, soybean, and distiller's residues. Of course, you have to mix them up according to their stages. Introduction of Piglets to Solid Food Piglets are used to feeding on their mothers. The transition from milk to solid is always difficult. To stop your piglets from diarrhea and lack of feeding, it is necessary to use creep feeding whilst they are still suckling. Creep feeding is a method of supplementing the diet of young livestock, primarily in beef calves by offering feed to animals who are still nursing. Place some of the solid food around the pen so that, they will eat whilst suckling. This helps reduce diarrhea and other stomach infected illnesses. What to feed your grower to finishing pigs? At this stage, they are most study and are used to solid food. This is the stage where you need to include more protein in their diet to speed up their growing rate. Environmental Control for Optimized Growth For pigs to eat well, they have to feel safe and also comfortable in their environment. This includes the right temperature, adequate water intake, and sanitation. One will say, what has weather got to do with raising pigs? Think about it, pigs are a highly adaptable animal and can perform well within a range of temperatures. However, temperatures too low or too high can have adverse effects on stock. Because pigs do not sweat, they end up drinking more and more water. They drink more than they eat. Provide them with fresh and adequate water. Another common perception is that, pigs are dirty. 
This cannot be further from the truth. Pigs are generally clean animals and very intelligent. They only cover themselves with mud to keep fresh. Implement sanitation protocols. Poor sanitation can lead to undetected disease challenges that reduce food intake. If you like this type of content and want me to produce more, hit the like button and comment below. The question now is, how many types should I feed the pigs and at what ratio? My honest answer to how many times you should feed them will be, I don't know. I don't know because, you have to figure out what system works for you and your farm. Pigs are ferocious eaters and will consume anything you put in front of them. If you put 50 kg of mixed feed in front of them, they will eat it all in one day. However, for pigs to grow to 6 months maturity, you have to feed the grower to finish your pigs 4% of their body weight. Once you have discovered their body weight, you can then decide how many times you want to feed them. You can then choose to feed them once or twice a day depending on how you have set up your farm. Feeding pigs for less As a smart farmer, maintaining quality and high standard is key. However, you do not have to break the bank to achieve it. You can use locally available feeds that are less expensive, but can be nutritionally complete when properly prepared. Depending on the size of your herd, pigs can be easily fed using using your kitchen scraps as long as they are balanced diet. The nutritional needs of pigs can be divided into six categories or classes. These are water, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Daily feed requirements Dry slash pregnant sows and gilts, dry sows and gilts require 2.5 kilograms a day of sow and wiener meal. Before introducing them to a boar, give an extra 1 kilogram per day for at least one week. Give lactating sows 2.5 kilograms a day of sow and wiener meal for maintenance and 0.25 kilograms a day extra for each piglet being suckled. Piglets, give creep pellets 0.5 to 1.0 kg a day from day 7 up to weaning time, 21 to 28 days, per piglet. One week before weaning them off completely, mix the creep feed with sow and weaner feed. Boars, give boars 2.0 kg a day. If the boar is regularly used increase this to 2.5 kg. Feeding of growing and finishing pigs, pigs weaned at 3 to 5 weeks and about 11 to 13 kilograms body weight. Once weaned, they should continue to be fed on the starter diet until they reach 18 kilograms live weight. Pigs weaned at 7 weeks or older may be switched gradually to sow and weaner diet. Changes to feeding regime For growing or finishing pigs all ration changes should be made gradually. If this is not possible the feeding level of the new diet should be low until the pigs become accustomed to it. Where post weaning scours are a major problem, restricted feeding during the first week after weaning may reduce the incidence of scours. For treatment in case of an outbreak of scouring, Medication through drinking water is preferable since sick pigs go off feed. If this content interests you, please do not forget to subscribe.